Hello and welcome once again to the Rugged Rock Hound. Today I'm joined with Grand Junction Recordings <laughs> and his dog. <laughs> so, yeah, it's Lewis. That's his name, right? The Rich Lewis. Rich Lewis, yeah. Rich Lewis and Sirius. And Sirius. Called the Sirius Claim after the dog. There we go. So, yeah, he's invited me out here. This is going to hopefully be a great day. We'll find some cool bearite, hopefully. <laughs> you never know out here. So, yeah, he's going to take me around. So this is his claim. And if you'd like to, he's got a, we a website where he sells the stuff. So if you'd like to, here's a link to his website. You can go check him out. All right, let's get to it. Let's see what we can find. So here we are just up from our vehicles. Kind of an interesting spot right here. I started digging into it. It's got a dome shape to it. It had a nice curve here. And we got a nice vein of calcite going through there. So I'm going to dig into that. And other people, of course, have dug here in the past. But I just wanted to show you here. This is a piece they pulled up. You got a barret crystal right there and a chunk of barret right there. So it's here. So this is a nice little dome shape right here. You can see I hit the edge of it here. We've got the edge of it there. And you got a bunch of cast in the middle. So this should be a nice, nice concretion that will dig into and see if we can find any barrets in it. But it's looking really good so far. Just pulled this off and that is barite. So it's kind of a, a vein of it. So these are chunks of barite. I can feel the weight. You can, you can see how it's a little darker. So I am going to slowly pull this apart and see if we've got some good complete crystals in here anywhere. So this is the spot where I've got the barite that I'm trying to get into. It's really hard, so I'm taking my time. But we found below us an extension of this one, a nice big section of it. Been pulling out tons of quartz. Look at look at the thickness of the quartz. Okay. So, thank you for we, we've we've actually been talking about quartz for the last little bit, so, so it's on my next, mind. <laughs> but yes, calcite. So pulling out tons and tons of calcite. We've been going through all of this, but no barite yet. So just tons of thick thick calcite. So just remember when you come out in this area, this will be very common where you'll dig and dig and dig and find tons of calcite. And then all of a sudden you'll finally hit some barite. True. Okay, here's the barite pocket. I was just breaking this and the whole thing's loose now. So we're gonna pry this up and see what we got. Oh, well, looks like it was a very thick vein of barite. Doesn't look like we got any terminated crystals. What about right by the hammer? That's some of the calcite that was from right here. Here. Looks like, looks like unfortunately we didn't get any terminated crystals in that pocket of barite. No, oh, that's unfortunate. So I, I opened up the pocket that was pretty much solid barite, just so we could take a look at it. So here you can see a nice crystal that grew this way, and a smaller one there. So kind of cool to be able to see that in there. It was a big, just thick pocket of the barite. Um, this one had a few faces on it, so that was kind of nice. And just chunks of it all came out in pieces. No good clear crystals, nothing fully terminated, but good evidence because where there's some, there's usually more. Well, after digging for a while, we've found a lot of calcite. This was softer down here, better stuff here. This was really hard. And this is all the barite we found was that mass that didn't have any crystals. We're going to take a break from digging and just do some hiking. There's some really good potential out along here with the layer being nicely exposed through there. So we're going to just walk around and see what we can find laying on the ground or dig into something we find out there. So the place we've been digging was back over there. We came over here just to kind of search around in this area. And we've dug in a few places, haven't really found much, but... This is looking nice. We've got these nice pockets here that I can see some nice calcites in them. Maybe some other stuff. I mean, it's hard to see because everything's super dirty, but I can definitely tell you these are calcites because look, it was broken right there. Oh, I need to put the macro lens on probably. But yeah, this is looking promising right here. So this is calcite right here. You can see where it broke right there and you can see that little glint there. So yeah, that is an actual terminated calcite crystal, which I believe I'm seeing a bunch on this one as well. 
and could be on this as well. So some of these that look more promising, I'll probably take back and clean them off. And who knows what else? We'll keep digging. Just pulled this out and it's got a nice barite crystal on it right there. You'll see, it, said, you'll see it. You'll see it. One of us is bound to find something. <laughs> you'll definitely see it better once I get it washed off, but it's right there. Here's this one washed off. This was a really cool specimen. It had these really cool double calcites right there. And then look at the barrets on the back. Two barrets right there. Fractured and right there. But still, that's just a really cool specimen with a calcite like that. So, John just found these. Look at that barite. It was on the surface, so it's, it's cracked and stuff, but it's got some crystal faces there. Mostly has a point right there. That's really cool. And some other pieces. So we're finding barite finally. Yeah, <laughs> in the right area. And yeah, I, I could easily have more barite on some of these. They're just so dirty. And that's exciting. Look at that pocket coming up. Oh, here's a piece coming out. What's on this? Yeah, I can see a few little calcites on it. And that might... Be a tiny bear right there it's so hard to tell it's so dirty and small but that's probably a little bear right there here's this one washed off there's the bear right, right there and some calcite around it i'm not sure if there's any more bear right on it i couldn't tell maybe right there but for sure that all right i pulled some more out a lot of the ones i pulled out seem to be kind of like this where there's barely anything like this one has a tiny bit of calcite there and that's it and like this where i looked really closely at it and there's no calcite or barite on it so you know i've got a handful of them that look good but i just found this one kind of in here and i believe that might be a barite once i clean it off you can tell there's calcite in it though so definitely worth taking home so i think i probably should go back through some of these rocks here and make sure i'm not missing any barites here's this one washed off so it was mostly calcite but it did have a barite crystal right there well i'm glad i went through the stuff i'd already moved because i found two or three more potential pieces that look like they might have little barites on them so good to hold on to those and anyway, yeah, we'll have a lot of stuff to wash off when I get home. John just found this. It's a nice piece of barite. It, it's broken, but it's got some nice, a few nice faces on it, and it's fairly clear. So it's a good piece. Well, I've been digging for a while now. I've gone in pretty much every direction. I've run out of barite and calcite. I've seen neither for a while. So I think we're going to go with that. We've got quite a few decent potential specimens here, some of which I know have barite. So we're gonna pack those up and uh, move on. So I washed all of these pieces off and they ended up having some like calcite crystals on them, but they're so dirty and coated. I thought uh, either I'm gonna have to try something with a chemical or maybe just leave them out here and get some rain or something. I don't know. It may not even be worth keeping, but yeah, these didn't have any barite. There were just some cool calcite crystals on them that unfortunately are just covered in gunk. We're just walking around doing some surface collecting. Sounds like he found something. Ah, a big chunk of barite. Look at that. Too bad it's not a crystal, you know, nice crystal, but it's a big chunk. Just found this. This is calcite with a barite in it right there. Yeah. Nice little barite. Cool. Here's this all cleaned off. So right here we've got a barite crystal. And it's broken here so that barite crystal's loose. But I thought maybe I could reheal it, well, reattach it, put some like epoxy on it or something, and reattach it like that if I want it like that, or if I'd rather just pull it out. Eh, I haven't decided yet. I was digging up there, didn't find much. He's pulling out a few chunks of barite. But right here on the surface, I pulled this out. It's, oops, dropped it and broke it. Well done, me. It was a section of a barrett crystal. <laughs> Good job me dropping that. Anyway, it was broken anyway. But <laughs> There you go, some potential right here. So right there in the back on the left, we're finding some barite. And look at it come out terminated. Look how beautiful that is. 
So it's right back in here. It's right here. I don't know how well you can see it, but there's the vein. And we got terminations coming off of it. Here's this washed off. So it is just a thin coating on the crystal, giving that orange yellow color. It is fairly clear on this side anyway, inside that barite. Just pulled this out, took a look. Look at that crystal right there on the edge. Nice little terminated crystal. Look at that, what just came out. Look at that beautiful thing. It's a big chunk of barite. Broken on several sides, but terminated. About 150 grams, maybe 200. <laughs> That's not bad. Oh. Sitting there weighing that off. Yeah, it's really nice. Here's this big one washed off. Not as nice as I was hoping it would be. It happens. Still, it's a big piece of barite. And right there, we got a few nice crystal terminations. So we'll take it. And I'm back home. So I didn't finish filming while I was out of this claim because I cut myself pretty good when I was digging into that pocket. I, I got my head on it and when you get a good cut on your head, it can really bleed. So unfortunately, I had blood all over my face just coming down and decided not to film that on YouTube because of reasons. <laughs> I know you guys are probably like, oh, I'd like to see that, but no, I'm not gonna film that. So I'm instead filming back at home so overall it was a pretty good day we found some interesting things i've had better days but it was still cool it was fun to get out it's always just good to go rock hound and a huge thank you to let me come out to visit the serious claim so until next time remember there is treasure everywhere <laughs>